We've officially got Scarlet and Violet base set booster box. And ladies and gentlemen, not only do we have the first ever Scarlet and Violet booster box ever, I am also giving away a Violet and a Scarlet ETB. And all you have to do is stay tuned to this video because the moment that we pull five EX cards, so the only way the giveaway is gonna activate is if we pull five EX cards out of this booster box. And the moment that happens, I'll give you guys the instructions on how to win one or, you know, potentially both of those ETBs. And I think it's possible. From what I've seen about this booster box, apparently the pull rates are bananas, but not just that, the way the booster's laid out, the way the rares are like sort of distributed, it's really interesting. And my favorite pack art is this one right here. Now, everyone can fight me in the comments, but Fue Coco, easily the best starter. Like, Quaxley, Sprigatito, I don't, I don't know. I'm not the biggest Sprigatito fan. Don't dislike the video, okay? That's just my opinion, but let's hope. You know what? These bad boys are thick. And I don't mean like thick with three C's. I'm talking like these are thick like the fourth Harry Potter book. They've got a different wrapper. All right. Now there is a black code card, but I don't think that means anything. Now the card trick is also different. Stay with me here. It's one from the back, which is an energy card. Now I need to find the unlisted leaf one. And then the rare is right there. So you don't want to do more than one. Otherwise you ruin the whole pack. But... This is my first ever pack of Skull and Violet. How good can it be? Please demolish the like button if you want to see me complete the entire set because I am so pumped up for a brand new set. I'm so excited that I finally get to collect Skull and Violet in English. Look at the gray borders. And if we get like 5,000 thumbs up, I'm obviously going to go and try and complete the entire thing. This is going to start my binder. Magnemite, that artwork looks awesome. All right, got a few uh, Pokemon tools, few trainer cards. Then we got Team Star Grant. Oh, Dondozo, my boy. This is such a good looking Pokemon card. Now the reverse pattern is completely different. Release Rage as one of the attacks. And then you go and get your second reverse. So there's two reverses per booster. Very weird, but you got to take it with the extra sort of pattern on there. And a guaranteed hollow. And you know what's funny about this? That is the worst possible booster you can get when opening Skull and Violet. So apparently they wanted to like up the price of a Pokemon card booster. So they had to change a few things around. In order for them to charge a few extra dollars per pack, they thought, okay, what does everyone want? Everyone wants at minimum a hollow per booster. So they guaranteed a hollow. And then someone at the board meeting put their hand up and they're like, Pokemon. You can't just give a hollow and put the price up $2. You gotta give them at least two reverses or better. So now you could get two reverses in a hollow. You might get an art rare. The rarest thing you can get in Skull and Violet is a three star rare card, which is a uh, complete full art gold card. And that's like the rare, that's the top tier. But we're gonna go for a couple of art rares because the artwork is obviously fantastic on those, the illustrations. Are you joking? Did we just double up on the first two boosters? Oh my goodness, it's, a, it's my first ever booster box and I double up on the holo two times over. Oh my, come on, come on, come on. So, cards that I want to get. I have studied this. Like guys, I went on the internet all this week because I knew the set was arriving in the mail and I'm so excited. So, number one card I want the most and I don't think anyone else wants it as much as me. This alternate art Coriadon. Please let me have it. When I went to America like last month and I went to Collecticon, I went to every booth and I asked how much it was in Japanese. It was like 120 bucks and in my head I'm like, Ando, wait, wait for the English one to come out, then you can go after it. Oh, he heard me. Coridon Reverse, gosh, it looks so good. Rampaging Fang and then, got the Kaluncha and a rub 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 rub. <laughs> Where's the bangs? Come on, back to my favorite pack up. So yeah, Coridon Alternate Eye is easily the card I want the most. Um, I think a lot of people are going to be hunting for those two gold cards, the Coridon Maridons. But let's be honest, anything is really, really good with texture on it. Any EX card is going to be fascinating because it's the first set with the lowercase EXs on it. Riolu. And then got a Breloom. Can we get something in potentially? So that like illustration rare usually takes up the second reverse slot there. Oh snap! Okay, their first ever like EX card is a terrestrialized version. So this one's got embossed texture all over it. Look at it. It all breaks out here. He's jumping out. He looks like he's made of glass. So don't get too excited, little Timmy. Sit back down your seat because the textured EXs are only for these terrestrialized Pokemon. If it's a regular EX, it's gonna be more of a glossy finish, almost like the same gloss level as a jumbo card. So when we get a regular EX, I'm very keen to see, is it a disappointment or do I feel the same level of hype as when we got the Arcanine there? So we'll go one from the back. Oh my goodness, I think I saw some shine. 
But again, guaranteed a uh, holo card, so it could be anything. Lechonk? Or hopefully a Fue Coco anything. Skelly Dirge would be awesome. Okay, Rocky Helmet. Fue Coco? No way. Okay. I love this. Look at that pattern. It's like tribal slash like fire. And a Holo Dondozo. This guy also comes as a promo card for the three pack blister as well. So you might see him in the shops or something. But I'm curious what you guys are hunting for the most. Uh, maybe it's like an art rare. Maybe it's an illustration rare. Because I saw a couple of really nice ones there. Maybe it's like, weirdly enough, like a full art gold energy. Or maybe just a really basic EX card. Gravid. Alright, we've got Heracross. I just want to see some like, cool Scarlet and Violet exclusive Pokemon. Two star art rare, so it's more rare than normal. Are you joking? Are you kidding me? Pikachu! Oh my goodness. This is my first ever booster box. I got the one card I was talking about. No way. Done. Wrap it up, wrap it up, We're e I'm exiting the video. The whole entire Scarlet and Base set, entire set list. This is the one card I wanted the most. Now I don't know if I'll go into it too much in this episode, but the two stars right there, it's basically like the second highest tier that you can get with these like special alternate arts. But the only way this two star rating gets higher is when it's a three star gold, and that means you're getting a full like gold card. So Pokemon obviously view the gold cards as the highest tier, but for me, that's not my thing. Like gold cards are great, I love pulling them, but like holy moly. This is it. I'm done. You don't, like, that's it. Anyway, that's our second EX card. I'm really happy I get to give away all the boosters now because I generally, I don't need to open them. I've got my one chase card. And I hope that you guys at home, whoever wins the two packs, um, or the two winners that win the eight packs each, hopefully you get your, like, chase card you're looking for. That is incredible. You know what? The pull rates are fantastic. Anyway, we need three more EX cards to unlock the giveaway. So hopefully you're still watching. And we should be able to get it for you, I reckon. Toad's cool. Got the rolls. Are you joking? Another EX. That's our third one, correct? I'm not tripping. Nope, that's our third EX card in this little time. Great task, EX. So as you can see, very glossy, very much like a jumbo card right there. The Look at that finish. The shine is exactly like a jumbo card, actually. Gigantic task with 250. I'm also wondering now that we got that textured Coridon. Like, that's a really rare card. Do you think that's it? Do you reckon that's like the rarest thing we're getting? Is it just me or are these like cards backwards? They're always coming out back to front. Anyway, do you reckon that textured card is going to be the rarest thing in this whole box? And maybe the gold card's like randomly inserted? Very curious what the end of this video, like what the recap's going to look like. All right, here we go. Two reverses and then... Oh, Slowbro got a holo. That's awesome. All that hand-drawn stuff behind him. So cool. Now... Maridon, I, I don't want to, I don't want to peer press you, bud, but Coridon gave us the greatest pull ever, so if you're going to give us something, it better be textured. Maybe a gold card, that'd be nice. I love his Elvis sort of hairdo right there. Gosh. Anyone else getting like a bit of an inkling to go play the game again? That's how I'm feeling. Got a Breloom, Fit Little, and then Indeedy got a Holo 2. I haven't looked at this set list. By the way, some of these cards are horrifically miscut. I mean, that's not, I mean, that's bad, but it's not too bad. I have noticed some of them are like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> CGC is not going to be happy when they're grading these puppies. And I think that is a bit of an issue, actually. But anyway, I don't really care. I'm <laughs> Actually, I, I was going to say I'm not going to grade these cards, but to be honest, that Coridon might have to go to, uh, to PSA. That's so gorgeous. But before I send my cards off to PSA, I want to complete the set. Oh, I forgot! Miriam has this artwork right here that everybody loves. In Japanese, that card is going for a thousand dollar dues. And I'm not like over exaggerating. When I went to Orlando, I think one of the vendors had one of those in the binder and I was like, oh cool, you've got the Miriam alternate art. Um, and they, th I think they had it for a thousand USD, which is like 10 million dollars Australian. And I was like, oh wow, you've got a thousand dollar Miriam. Surely you haven't sold one. He's like, that was my seventh one today. I've sold seven of them. You sold $7,000 for like seven cards? That's bonkers. Rotom, Chansey. All right, what are we going to get here? Greedent. God. Ugh, it's another reverse. I want a nice like uh, old illustration old art again. There's so many to get in this set. I just feel like if I don't get enough of them in this box, I'm going to be really struggling to try and complete the set down the road. But I guess like it'd be fascinating what the ETB pull rates are as well. Anyway, not complaining. The fact we got... Three or four EXs now? Is this nuts? Flaffy! Underrated Pokemon of the year! I love Flaffy artworks. That is amazing.
Got the Starly and Houndstone. Gosh, he looks cool too, doesn't he? You want to skip past it because in your mind, you're just like, eh, it's a regular rare. But regular rares aren't a thing in this set. So every time you see one of those end cards, it's a holo. You're getting a holo guaranteed. So basically, every Skull and Violet box is kind of like a god box. Are you a fan of that? Are you okay with Pokemon charging a little bit more money per booster, but guaranteeing you at least two reverses and a holo card? Oh, two reverses and a holo. Quackwevel, my boy! I'm sure a lot of people are getting excited over Quackwevel getting the uh, card, just like me with Skelly Dirge. And then there's the starters always looming in the background. Have you noticed the code card has always got a black border? That was a big thing, I reckon, the past couple of sets. Everyone started to really complain about they hated the fact those code cards were giving away the poles. Maybe now they got rid of it. Not 100% sure though. Have to do a few more test packs. Hey, Clawf, my boy! <laughs> what a random Pokemon! I love that they made Clawf an actual card and they've like given him alternate art, illustration rares and everything in the set too. Maybe we can pull one of those. Okay, open those thick boosters up. Only take one code as well. I know there's a bunch of people that play this new TCG online and heaps of people trying to cash the codes in. And I think within the first like 10 seconds these videos go live, all the codes always seem to be cashed in. So please only take one code at a time and uh, try to share it around. We've got 36 packs to give away today. <gasps> what is it? Hey, it's been oops, my boy! <laughs> I actually really like this. It's like the modern day Scyther in my mind. To be honest, we're not even like, I mean, we're about halfway through this box, but I am very, very excited for this set. One more EX activates the giveaway. And I also want to open those boxes um, to get the promo cards out. So make sure you stay tuned to when the giveaway activates. We'll open up those boxes, get the promo cards out, and I'll give away all the packs inside, of course. Now, we're going hunting for one more lowercase EX. And considering we haven't even finished the left-hand side, I'm feeling good. This is going to be fun. Oh, no chancy. Oh, poor Mod. I love poor Mod. Looks a bit like a uh, Metabot. Do you remember that show? Metabots? That's what poor Mod looks like to me. Like an actual real-life animal in Metabot world. Third to last booster right now. That looks like one of the uh, TCG products. The ultimate toolkit. Let's open you up. Pull you to the side. There's the code. Got one from the back. Third to last one, no pressure. Squovert, got a Lechonk. Oh, we missed Starly for a minute. Picnic Basket, got a Hypno. Fortress, Pokeball. Oh my goodness! Are you kidding? I mean, besides the gold version of this, like what more are you asking for in the Crydon world? Jeez. <laughs> what is up with this pull rates? A Crydon EX Full Art after the Alterna Art. Oh snap, we've activated the crazy giveaway. So let's do it. Let's give away all the boosters that are inside of both of these. I'm going to give away both the packs. So we've got, look at this, Crydon Pokemon Scarlet Elite Trainer Box. All right, let's open this puppy up and uh, get the goods out for you guys. All right, so here we go. Here's the first lot of packs and all you have to do is leave a comment. But at the end of your comment, just have the word Scarlet because you want the Scarlet packs, the nine packs right here. So we got those right there and I really want... Holy smoke, look at this. Don't uh, bump the camera too much, but look at the artwork. Oh my goodness, I love it. Okay, so this promo card going in my collection for sure. And then everyone that chose Violet at the store, I've got you covered as well. Obviously, guys, if, if you want to win the Violet ones, just leave any comment you want. And then with the word Violet at the end, and, you know, I'll pick two winners, one Scarlet, one Violet. And your names will be on unlistedleaf.com as soon as I've chosen the winners. And I can ship those boosters out to you ASAP. Show me the promo code. Ooh! It's almost like a Hawaiian Japanese influence, isn't it? Okay, that promo is going in the collection as well. But yeah, leave a comment with the word Violet at the end and you're entered in the giveaway. All right, let's put those five at the back and let's keep it going. We've got two boosters remaining on the left-hand side, so let's finish it off strong. To be honest, I picture us getting nothing more out of this because that is just... I mean, we're being way too greedy if we want something else out of this. Rolt. And by the way... I would recommend, if you can afford it, I know like booster boxes are crazy expensive. I remember when I was like uh, first getting into the TCG, I saved up my whole last paycheck when I used to work at EB Games and I spent the whole thing on a booster box and I spent two months thinking about if I wanted to buy the booster box or not and I did. And uh, <laughs> it was the most fun experience ever. But I know how expensive booster boxes are, but this one seems to really come through with some pull rates and it's fun. Like I'm having a blast right here. Hopefully you guys are as well. I really hope sometimes that, uh, yeah, you guys are having just as much fun as me because I think this is the most fun 
in the entire world when a set comes out and it's the base set you've never seen like the gray borders you've never seen stuff like this professor's research you can also get her as a full art card which looks really nice okay we're right on time and we're starting the right hand side is this the more lucky side i don't know and i really don't think it could be unless we get the gold card basic energy got the switch for coco pokeball one trio judge float cell energy Retrieval or removal? Retrieval. Oh! Breathe, Ando. Yum. This is just Peppa Pig. It's a very pink looking pig. Oh my gosh. There is so much Peppa Pig vibes going on in this pink artwork. Look at that love hearts in the background. Can you see that? The texture? I know I should be making a much bigger deal out of getting another full art card, but I feel so blessed and lucky I'm opening today's box that it's not even surprising me we pulled another full art card. I'm actually going to start building uh, Scarlet and Violet Eric in the set list in one of my new Evolution binders. And if you haven't seen those, go watch my video on the Evolution Chinese boxes, the binders in that. I reckon on Instagram, you guys were DMing me. I got like 15 DMs asking about those binders and if I'd sell them separately. No way, I'm keeping the binders for sure. I wanna build sets like this out in those cool binders. Cause they're four across and when you get four like cards across, I feel like the full art sections look so gorgeous. All right, everyone, oh my gosh! ARE YOU KIDDING ME?! THERE IS NO WAY! I've got a cramp, I've got a cramp. Walk it off, walk it off. So this, in Pokemon Eyes, is like the cream of the crop. It's the three gold star rarity tier, like the highest one. This has to be randomly inserted. Because if they're giving three full arts a gold card, plus whatever is in this stack here, that seems way too much. Now my next question is I feel like we should be getting a few more, uh... Illustration rares. They're not called art rares. They're called illustration rares. I haven't seen a lot. I mean, we've seen like, you know, a couple of the nice Coridon, but haven't seen a lot of those. I want to see more. Oh, <laughs> I know what would make this box even better. I know what would make it even crazier. As I speak of it, why not? Poor Mott. Why wouldn't we get another art rare? Why wouldn't it be a double cheeseburger, a triple cheeseburger? Poor Mott illustration rare looking absolutely gorgeous. <gasps> oh my gosh! Just, just stop. It's not even funny at this point. I pulled a double cheeseburger in one pack and it's this. I always wanted to pull one of these in English. Arcanine EX Terrestrialized Form. And a Poor Mott illustration rare looking very cute. Look how good this flippin' box is though. This recap. I'm scared to show you the recap because it's too good. Okay, I gotta stop. We're opening the starters artwork. Maybe that leads to like a Fue Coco art. Um, I still reckon we're gonna get like one or two more illustration rares because there just seems to be too many in the set for us not to. But then like, you know, the reasonable part of my mind is like, Ando, are you act right now are you actually asking for more cards? And I feel bad. Metazite, Growlithe. And a quack quibble. Okay, Maridon, you're on the front of the box looking gorgeous up there. That's what all the uh, news agencies, the Walmarts, the Targets are going to have on display. It's going to be a gorgeous day on Friday. I'm opening this like two days before uh, the set comes out. So we got a Ralts, got a Growlithe, the Shop It. Here, oh gosh, one trio before we get to there. There we go, one trio, Judge, and then oh, Beach Court. That reminds me of like Mario Sunshine, you know, like the area. Mario Sunshine, one of the greatest GameCube games I ever played. Do you guys play GameCube or no? I love Mario, like Strikers was fantastic, Sunshine was fantastic, um, Double Dash, gosh that was awesome. I always played as Baby Mario. Got a Fire Type, anyway getting way off, way off track. Got a brand new Nintendo Switch game we should be talking about. Got Jack, and then... Oh. It's there, okay calm down, it's another EX card. This, yeah, like, so this one, it, it is like a jumbo card, it's more glossy. And the other one was more like matte finish, that's odd. Is there a difference, guys? Or am I like, I know I'm not tripping, that's 100% there is a difference, but why is there a difference? Two different factories printed those cards? I don't know. But yeah, that's like, Iron Treads EX feels very like jumbo card-esque. And I do see what you mean, so people were complaining that that wasn't shiny enough, that wasn't like popping enough to warrant the EX status. But I reckon there's just so many good pulls you can get in a booster box. Pokemon didn't want to make that feel too special. So when you get those full arts, when you get the alternate arts, you fall back in your seat and you have a bit of a heart attack because they look so good. Um, Cause you gotta remember, regular rares now are hollow cards. I never thought I'd say that in my life. So these like, these are comments, these reverses. Slow bro. Is that like our third or second one? 
I don't mind. We can double up on Slowbro. He's cool. He's part of the OG squad. The fact he's still cranking out the Pokemon cards is so much fun. Oh, unlisted leaf. Guys, 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 put this one to the side. I need to keep the uh, unlisted leaves on deck. Potion. Got the Bruzil. Got the energy retrieval. EXP share, which is a bit irrelevant now with all the EXP going up at the same time with all the Pokemon. And Annihilate. All right. Got this. Oh my gosh. Another Maridon. Come on, Maradon, you haven't given us anything good. Let's get like a little EX action. That would be pretty wicked. Let's see what your EX type looks like. Got Riolu, Magneton, Gravid, Chestplate, got the Flaffy, Wiglet, Bruzil, and a Professor's Research. Hope you guys don't mind as well. I'm probably not going to put the Holo cards in the recap. I just, in my mind, I thought if I put the Holo cards in the recap, it's kind of like if I did all the regular res in a recap. Then we'd have 36 cards to go over. Probably more because you get two for one deals now. So in my head, I'm like, let's just do the like texture cards or the EX cards or the illustration rares. Armor Rouge! I love Armor Rouge. I love him in the games. He's really, really fun. He just seemed like a really cool special Pokemon I had to try and track down. Ooh, really ripped the door off that one. Okay, there's the code card. One from the back. Swing it around. We've got Darkness, Corneride, Wiglet. Toad School, Youngster, Blissey, Jack, Torko, Scatterbug, and a Mias Carter. Sorry, holy god. I get I get cooked if I go over the starters too quickly. Like they're the one Pokemon I'm not allowed to skip over ever. I do love this art though, so I understand. It's okay. What do we got for? Oh no, we've got five packs left. I opened this too quickly, I'm sorry. I should have taken away my oh, this went so fast. Well, if you want to see more of this set. Enter the giveaway and I hope you guys actually like win because then you'll get to open more or demolish the like button. I'm going to go to the shops, buy a boatload. I'm going to buy a case if I have to, but Uncle Ando is going to finish. I love cloth. Uncle Ando is going to finish the entire set. I want a binder and I want all the alternate arts and I'm going to try my best. And then hopefully I'll double up on the karate on all art so I can grade that one and have a nice PSA 10 one. That'd be really cool. Undoom, Fido. Scatterbug, Flogato, Stone Journer, Ultra Ball, Skelly Dude, yes! Awesome! I could put him at the back, but that's biased, so I won't. Blazing Shout with 190? Oh no, this is our fourth. So this is like one artwork of everything. Yeah, look at that. Just one art of everything left. We'll end it with the Gyarados, fair enough. Get that terrestrialized full art card going. Rip the door. Oh, oh, oh. Flip the door. <laughs> Rip the door off that one. One from the back. We've got a fighting site. Fue Coco. It's sad that Pikachu's depressed throughout this whole opening because he should be really excited. There are Pokemon cards everywhere. The mountain of cards beside me. Shroomish. Powpad. Oh my gosh. So now we got the full art. We got the regular. And like 10,000 other EXs. The fact we're still pulling stuff is mind bending to me. Okay. Maddening Scent is literally one of the attacks or abilities there. Oh no, I went straight for the Gyarados one. Oh well. Hopefully the uh, codes are actually coming out on top towards the end of this box as well. Let's have a look, we've got a flight site. If anyone's still watching, I don't know. Maybe you guys just watched to the giveaway and not watching anymore. I hope you are and I hope we get a really good pull right now. Meta Charm, Shop It, Hey, come right on. Did really well in this box, I'm, I'm proud of you bud. Okay, let's do it, let's finish strong guys, come on. We've got a recap to look at too. Open you up, oh gosh, that nearly went everywhere. Code card. The nerves are strong. I really doubt we're getting another gold. So let's go for a textured illustration rare. Two-star gold card. Come on. Hound door. We're going to magic up. Got a Magnemite. Toad scroll. You got this. Okay. It's not going to be an illustration rare. So. Are you kidding? Are you joking? Are you joking? There is no way. There is no way. I think this box is cursed. I think I have the best skull and Violet box that's ever been printed. We just pulled another full art. Team Stark Run. That's a standard, I guess, full art card in my mind that hasn't changed a bunch. Trainers already had silver borders, so that looks roughly the same. Artwork's cool, but the ratio is even cooler. Now, what's gonna be in the final pack? This thing's, yeah, we're gonna go get it valued at Heritage Auctions. I'll sign it, pull a Logan Paul, and we'll sell it. I'm joking. But what's gonna be in the final, uh, <laughs> the final pack here? Oh my gosh, this is nutty. Powpad, Flabibi, Toxel, Ralts, 
God, I can't get over the fact we pulled the Karad on all. Oh my goodness! We end today's booster box opening with a Riolu illustration rare. And guys, let's have a recap on today's video. What the flip was this bomb? That right there was the most fun opening I've had all year. But let's have a recap and actually see how good this box was. Maybe I was making it up because my favorite card was one of the first ones we got. So, two illustration rares? Is that right? So the whole box, we got two illustration rares. If you look at the set list, there's like 10,000 in the set. So that's really weird. Okay, so two illustration rares. How many EX cards? One, two, three. I think this is regular, even though it's textured on there. Four. Five. So five EX cards, and that's not including the full art cards. Then we got the full art, so how many full arts we get? One, two, oh my goodness, three, oh my gosh, so we got four. Yeah, we got four, so if, not including the old art as well. Four EX uh, full art cards, or three and one trainer, then a gold card full art as well, and then the greatest card that's ever been printed. If you enjoyed today's video, demolish the like button, let me know in the comments, enter the giveaway. Good luck, guys. But until next video, keep on gaming. Click subscribe as well. Let's get the 3 million subscribers.